All right, the glass tube we are using here is the one from Mayhem's. My hand here is the 12mm uh, millimeters OD. And it comes in 500 uh, millimeters as well as a pre bent one. This is the one you can purchase from the website, it's pre bent at 90 degrees. And it's still uh, 50 cm, it's just that on the 35 cm mark. They actually bend it so it's 35 by 15 and i would say it's actually quite well done on its own really so if you really want to use this pre-bend one uh it's actually good enough in my opinion so okay about the inner diameter okay actually uh cut one just now uh, it's it's about 7.5 millimeters Okay, so, um, yep, let's have it. So, come, let's work on it. Okay, guys, let's go through some of the equipment that we need other than the glass tubing. First of all, yes, uh, safety glasses. Please, guys, please don't neglect safety. It's very important. No point losing an eye or hurting yourself just because you skim on some of the safety equipment here. Yes, glass is very important, especially when you're cutting it. Okay. So no exception for bending, things can go wrong. So please, please, please. All right. Next, uh, yes, this is just a normal face mask. So in case it breaks, at least uh, it doesn't enter your mouth. Uh, but if you are closing your mouth all the way, uh, not that bad. You may, you may just pass. No problem. Okay. I'll be, I will not be using this. If not, you will hear me like Darth Vader. All right. Next one. Okay, this is uh, actually a welding glove. <laughs> uh, you won't need it if you're actually bending it away from the flame, but if you're actually bending it very close to the flame, I recommend you actually wear, wear it while you bend it, all right? Okay, now, other than that, let me show you what I actually use to bend. There you go, gas stove. <laughs> You never expect that, right? Yeah, I actually tried it and I succeeded. So I'm gonna show I'm gonna show you to you how is it done. Okay, yeah. some other things that is important to have. Yes, this is your this is an insulated uh, pet uh, cloth. It's actually meant to put you know those hot stove, hot pan, uh, hot frying pan on it, so it won't uh, hurt the surface. Next, of course, you need uh, a point whereby you can guide a ninety. So this table, this is actually a solid top, so it actually can handle temperature. Uh, and yes, I'm actually going to use this 90 band to do it. And yeah, without further ado, let's get on it. Okay guys, uh, from now on it's going to be a little bit noisy after I, switch, uh, after I start the fire. Um, yeah, just a little bit more advice, make sure it's enough lighting for you to see and of course well ventilated. And yep. Yeah, Without further ado, let's start. Okay. If you remember in your science class, uh, which part of the flame is the hottest? Remember the second cone? Just be around the second cone. One good thing about this kind of fire is it actually burns outwards. So actually, you don't have to be above the flame to a certain degree. Alright. And yep, let's start burning. It'll take a while. So what do you wanna? How do you know whether uh, where you are burning is actually correct? Okay. Um, if you notice the blue flame starts to turn orange yellow. Uh, yeah. I think from your view you'll be able to see. Yeah. Uh, that's where you're doing it right. Okay. Okay. From what I understand, if I remember correctly. The color is actually caused by the breaking down of sodium. Okay, uh, feel free to to uh, correct me in the comments below. No problem. I can take feedback well. Okay, uh, I may start to fast forward from here. So I'll just let you know that this process can take um, ten minutes or so. And what you're waiting for is actually for it to start to set or you find that it actually start to be able to bend. Okay? 
I work on a few of the glass already and I can honestly say I don't have much uh, sagging signs available to me seriously so what happened is I actually use a little bit of force and how much force you are asking um, the opening of a coke can uh, a coca-cola can bought um, those kind uh, the metal the aluminium ones yeah that's the amount of strength you really require okay. now as you start to notice uh, the orange flame actually or yellow okay, whatever it is probably it looks like orange uh, increase in intensity well, uh, that's actually that's the best you can that's the best to do it yeah okay you can get away with a Bunsen burner no problem uh, for me I don't have a Bunsen burner so yeah I use a gas stove okay, just testing it okay I mean I start to fast forward from now so I don't bore you guys in the process Okay, as you see, it's already starting to bend. Later, I'll show you some of the ways to do it after it bends. It's not going to be easy because of the angle, because the flame is not high enough, but it can be done. Let me show you how. So what happened is basically, let me see if you can see this. Uh, I just go back and forth. Yeah, it actually cools very fast. So I took it off the flame for a while and yeah, I lose the elasticity to bend. Yeah, it kind of sucks actually. So if you have a bigger flame, actually it will work much better. Okay, maybe I'll just switch up the flame a bit. Ooh man, that's hot. <laughs> We go, we are getting a shape here. Oh, lovely. Just look at it. Yep. I didn't exert a lot, uh, a lot of force. I say the amount of force I require is just enough for me to. Okay, um. Oops, don't learn that from me. My right, I should be I should switch off the flame <laughs> before I actually measure from the side. Okay. Okay now. Okay now it is 90. Okay, as you can see, it is 90 now. Ah here you go. That's what the insulator pad is for actually. Uh, just if you put it on any uh, core surfaces, okay, the glass will break. Okay? So if I were to put it on a metal surface or I throw this right into the water, it will break immediately. Okay, now look at that. It. It's actually quite beautiful. It's 90. Alright. Now your job is not over yet. You need to annul it. Okay. Just tone the flame down and yeah, just proceed. Uh, how long you ask? I would say about five minutes. Okay, what you want to achieve here now is uh, not the orange flame. Uh, it's just trying to you know relax the glass decoy. If you don't relax the glass, what happens is. Uh, when it cools, it's stressed and it breaks. Then all your hard work gone to waste. Seriously, no worth it. All right. So yep, I'll fast forward again.
All right, there you have it. Let's get this to focus. Okay, I'll put it down here You're on the insulator pack. And yeah, turn off the flame. Here we go. Right. Okay. So like what you learn on Science Lab, label it so no one get hurt. Seriously, I have a very bad blister by just touching for one second because I had one tube rolling off. So I actually want to save it. So that time I had a very bad blister. So yeah, guys, how long to cool it? Mm, I'll tell you about 10 to 15 minutes. We have a shower or something. Or maybe have a drink, watch a television, have a game of CS or Overwatch, whatever. Then come back to attend to it. Okay, guys, I just feel that I should do a short summary on why I actually chose uh, glass tubings. Uh, it's fair that I let you know before you actually invest on time to see whether is it worthwhile. You must know that every single band is, uh, it takes time. So every single band, in fact, will take you about 10 minutes to band and another uh, 10 to 15 minutes to cool the thing. So it's not that easy. Yes, it's true. In fact, acrylic and PETG only takes 2 minutes to bend and you can pretty much work on it uh, pretty quickly after. So, uh, yeah, glass tube is a pain in the ass to work with. But I will just share with you my take and why I actually chose glass tubings. If you notice carefully, the clarity it is really beautiful. You must personally feel it to actually uh, uh, appreciate its beauty. It's actually very clear compared to PTG especially. And it's in fact more durable than acrylic. Acrylic tends to scratch. And, and if you notice how I bend it, all the tubings uh, in my videos, I actually uh, quite rough with it. And in fact, I, don't, I didn't scratch any of them. So it is that durable. On top of that, uh, it's easy to clean. So if you are those who like, uh, kind of always want to use dye, uh, and color your your fluids. Uh, glass tubing doesn't stain that much. In fact, it doesn't stain. You can actually clean it easily with uh, soap, water, and the sponge that you actually use to clean straws. Take out the tubing and just uh, stuff up the sponge, and, and you can actually clean it and regain its former glory. It doesn't stain like acrylic or PETG. That's a plus point. So, if you ask me why I chose glass tubing, yep, that's are the reason. These are the reasons and. Uh, it's up to you to decide whether you would prefer to go through the pain to get the, the bands or just stick with a few bands or maybe just buy the default 90 degrees. So, yeah, I'll end this part one video here. Uh, part two of the video, I'll just talk about the more difficult bands that I actually done. So one of them here and the other one up there. Just a brief one. I'll, ju I'll just do it quickly so I don't bore you guys. So, yeah, hope you guys... Uh, can take back uh, whatever info you need. And yeah, thanks for your time.